In this Blender tutorial, I will show you how to create random shape holes or cracks in an object. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I'm going to assume you have some knowledge of working with Blender, um, so I won't be going through all the shortcuts, but hopefully this keycast will help you if you're struggling. So the first thing I'm going to do is just press tab on my keypad, keyboard, sorry, and go into edit mode, and then seven on my numbers pad to go top view, roll my middle mouse, and let's create a random hole in the top of this cube. So to the left hand side, what you're looking for is a tab that says knife select this and then with your pointer over the um, face that you want to sort of cut out just use your left mouse button and just create a random hole by going around with the knife and using your left mouse button to create a hole and then you need to come to the first uh, vertices that you created make sure it snaps over and then left click and then hit enter so this is now created a sort of, well a face in itself a random kind of face so if I just come up to this select button up here and then select this um, face select tab here white square I can select this face and then hit delete and select only faces and this will put a hole in this uh, top of this cube so if I go back to the versus select button you can actually move these about so you've got a couple of options if you were in top view say you could actually just use grab and I could grab these about make them slightly different I don't know let's grab this up here I could also select two vertices and then right click subdivide and I could move this one by grabbing it I can also if I'm at a strange angle I could use this move button here and as long as though I don't use the Z axis well you can if you want I could also use say Y and X to randomize this and you could do the same all the way around here so if I wanted to place cracks over this what I could do here say let's get get the view half decent and again I'll go back into knife select and let's say right on the edge I can start coming down here and make what well, I'm going to make you sort of create a crack now if I come back up you can only get within a certain distance of the vertices that you've already created but what I would do is just again go around roughly and try and create something that looks like a half decent crack make sure you select over the edge as well you always want one on an edge come around to here say and again with this snapped onto the edge hit enter and again I'll come up to this select button here and this time what you could do is select the edge select up here and make sure you've got select I'll select this edge here hit delete and this time I'll select only edges and faces and again I'll do the same for this edge here on this line delete only edges and faces and again I could tidy this up more if I wanted to by grabbing these moving them I don't know to tidy this up so it's closer again this time it's going to be using the Z and the X and just gradually tidy them up so that it sort of looks sensible I'm not going to go into great detail here but that's sort of giving you some idea and then maybe one more I want to have this come over to the knife again 
and I don't know from here on this edge here I'll come out and sort of create a something like this maybe again using my left mouse come up to the edge make sure it's snapped by selecting the edge hit enter and again come up to edge select and select this edge here delete only edges and faces and then again I could start tidying this up if I wanted to by moving these using the X and the Z or grab if I went over the to a uh, front face front view rather in fact let's do that so I'll press one on my numbers pad so it's easier and I'll press grab G for grab and start tidying this up and I'm not going to go into great detail here but this is one way that you can start creating random shapes and cracks if you wanted to obviously carry on going around with this and once you've finished if I press tab here what you could do is perhaps go over to the wrench add modifier and then maybe um, solidify maybe select even thickness and you can make something that looks like this obviously this isn't the same as the one on the intro but you get the the point how you can make random holes and cracks in an object or a face so that's about it really don't think i can show you anything else hopefully this helps someone thank you for watching cheers